Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day for those of you who love flying the Citation CJ4. If you have a spare tablet, cell phone, or just a second monitor on your system, we're now able to use these devices as an external MCDU input. Would you like to know how to set everything up on your system? Well then you're in luck, because we're going to go over every step in the process coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. So before we get started in today's video, I just want to give a big shout out to the developer Demented Monkey for creating such a fantastic add-on mod for the CJ4. Also keep in mind that the MCDU and the working title CJ4 mod have to be updated simultaneously for these applications to sync up in the background to make all this happen. All the links for the downloads will be in the description, so be sure to check those out. And as always, if the video does help you out today, be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Now with all that out of the way, let's get into today's video. So when you click on the link down in the description, it's going to bring you up on this main web page. Now there's a lot of good information here that you can read through, but we're going to go right to the download section. So we're going to come over here and click on the latest tab for the releases. Once we do, we're going to go right down here to the CJ4 MCDU zip. We're going to click on that. It should then populate down below in your web browser. We're just going to allow that to finish downloading and then we'll come back to that. We can now come back to the main page and download the second mod that we need to install. That is the working title CJ4. To get there, we're just going to come down here to the installation section and right here where it says install the working title CJ4 if you haven't already, just click on the link here with your left mouse button and it will take you to the working title CJ4 site. From here, we can then click on the download latest version. That will also populate down in your web browser, so we're going to allow that to finish as well. So once that's completed, we no longer need the working title CJ4 page, and we are done with the developer page as well. So once those finish downloading, we can then navigate to the folder in which they have downloaded to. The other thing that you want to have open here is your community folder for Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you're unsure of where to find your community folder, I'll post the address down here in the lower right if you are on the PC version or store-bought version. And for those of you who are on the Steam version, I'll post the address link down here on the lower left. So now that you've got your community folder up and the download folder where you have downloaded those add-ons, we can then start extracting those. So the first one that we need to extract is the working title CJ4. So we're just going to double click on the zip file. And then we're just going to take this file and drag and drop it right in our community folder. Once that's done, we can close out of that. Next, we're just going to open up the CJ4 MCDU mod. So we're just going to double click that. Inside the zip folder, we have two other subfolders that we're going to be using. The MCDU server folder and the Demented Monkey CJ4 MCDU mod. The Demented Monkey CJ4 MCDU mod is the one that we need to place inside of our community folder. So we're just going to take this, drag it, and drop it right in our community folder. The next folder that we have here is the MCDU server, and this one we don't necessarily have to place inside of our community folder. Again, this is going to be the application that's going to be running in the background to connect everything. So this file, we can just take this one, drag it and drop it right on top of the desktop. All right, so now that we've got all that done, we can then close out of both of these folders. We no longer need the community folder or the download folder. Okay, great. So now that we have everything installed on our PC, the next thing we can do is to open the MCDU server. So we can just double click on the server folder and then we can double click on the application. Now note, you can open this without the simulator running, but it won't connect to anything, and it'll just tell you that it's waiting for the simulator. So now that that's running, we can open up Microsoft Flight Simulator and get that going. Now also keep in mind, you do not have to open this before you open the simulator. I just wanted to show you what would happen if you did. All right, so we are now back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and as you can see, the MCDU server has now connected to the simulator. So depending on the type of device you're going to be using for the MCDU will depend on which line you're going to use here to punch into your web browser. If you're going to be using an external tablet or cell phone like I was at the very beginning of the video, 
Then what you're going to do is open the web browser inside of that device and enter the IP address in the address bar. If you're going to be using the same PC that you're running the SIM on, then you can open up your web browser and type in this line. So let's go ahead and show you how that's going to work real quick. For me, it's going to be easier to show you on the web browser on my PC. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter the IP address that we had went over earlier. Once we do, the MCDU will populate on the screen. But as you can see, we don't have any power yet to the system. That's because on the inside of the plane, I do not have it powered up yet. So if I come over here and turn the battery on and the avionics on, now as you can see, the MCDU is powered up on my external window here. And now I can enter anything I need to do inside of the system. All right, so I think that's just gonna about wrap us up for today. If you guys have any questions, post them down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. Thanks everybody for watching the video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. To all of my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.